Alright, so here's how we're going to set up the automated SMS going directly to the lead. Uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to be using Qualifier here. Uh, you should have already set up the phone number. Um, as soon as you have the phone number set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, orange button, and make a zap. And you're going to use whatever you used for your landing page. Uh, so it's either going to be uh, ClickFunnels, Wufu Form, or the Facebook lead ad for your action trigger. So the action trigger is always the first one. I'm going to push new entry. Uh, this is if you're using Wufu Form. This is what I'm usually using for uh, running the campaigns. Uh, push test here, make sure that it's working. Success. All right, we're ready to go. All right. We're going to use the form. We're going to continue. We're going to fetch and continue. I've already sent a test lead in. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to pull in my information. I just filled it out myself. So all, all it's going to do is just send in my own information. Push continue. All right, now this is where we're going to use Qualifier. That's going to be our, our app that we're going to be using to create the automated SMS. We're going to save and continue. You're going to choose your account. By here, what you're going to do is you're going to set it up so that uh, you're basically going to grab the password and API username and put it into Qualifier. Um, at that point, you're going to push save and continue. All right, and here's where we're going to put your, your text script, um, so whatever it might be, hi, and then you put, cool thing about this is that you can completely automate it. So that it looks as authentic as possible, so hi, and then it's going to have my first name here, and then... This is, and then put client name, and then this is where you basically put in uh, whatever the offer is. You're basically going to see what they need help with. Anything that sparks curiosity, say something like, hey, this is, you know, Sam from so-and-so business name. Um, just wanted to reach out and I noticed from the form that you filled out that you were interested in X. Just wanted to see if you need your information on X and what I can help you with. Here to help. Something like that. All right. Something simple, something that sparks curiosity. And what you're going to do is you're going to push this as the phone number, which you'll basically pull in from the information that the lead filled out. So verify the current number and then here is where you're going to basically put in the call fire number you do have to buy a call call fire phone number um, once you do that you're going to put that into here and then you're going to press continue so you're basically all set up now uh, all you're going to do is send test to call fire uh, once that happens um, you will uh, you might encounter a problem where um, it might say bad request or you know test error or something like that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Callfire and you're going to go to their support uh, number. So Callfire support. You're going to call them up and you're basically going to tell them that you're currently running a marketing campaign for a client. Um, what they're going to do is they're just basically going to confirm that you're not sending anything spammy or anything you know that will basically get you banned and you know. They don't want you to send spam through their software. So they just want to confirm that. And once they do, it should be maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes if if they're you know putting you on hold. Um, fastest I've had is like five minutes. So once you have that, you're gonna send a test to call fire. All right, and successful finish. And usually what I like to call this is SMS to lead. Perfect. All right, so that's how you send out the automated SMS um, directly to the lead as soon as they opt in. One more thing uh, that I forgot to mention is we can also 
create one filter step and this is just so it looks a little bit more authentic um, what you can do is add a filter step and actually not a filter step sorry about that yeah what you can do is you can add an action step and then create a delay so this makes it seem like it's actually a human that's sending over a text message delay by Zapier and then you put delay until wait I mean delay for I usually like to wait like five minutes and then I'll send it over and then send test to delay this almost always get yeah this one always uh, gets approved really fast um, so just to basically break it down for you guys you're gonna have the trigger step which is basically either clip funnels um, Facebook lead ad or it's going to be your uh, Wufu form, survey, gizmo, whatever you use to collect the lead info. Uh, you're going to run that through a delay, uh, which is basically an action step um, called delay by Zapier. You're going to delay for five minutes. You're going to get that approved. And then you're going to create text message from Callfire. You're going to hook up your Callfire account, which is very simple. Uh, you're just basically going to grab the API username and password and you're going to put that into Callfire. Very simple. Uh, they have the instructions on there as well. And then you're going to edit the template. Uh, you're going to put in, very important, is to have the phone number pulled in from the uh, form that they filled out. So whether it's just name, email, phone number, you're just going to put in their phone number here. And usually I like to customize it so that, you know, they know that, you know, it, it seems as authentic as possible like it's actually someone who is customizing the text for them so I like to customize it you know hi first name this is and then client name uh, put their business name on there too and then just create a text message um, that sparks curiosity usually, usually for my clients usually what I do is I don't try to pitch the lead straight away you know especially for mortgages you don't want to just you know pitch a home loan straight off the bat alright you want to see how you can provide value, how you can spark curiosity, um, and really just provide as much value as possible up front uh, so that they get educated, they get more information uh, on what it is that they're looking for. Because obviously they opted in for a reason, uh, they had a problem, and they're looking for a solution. The more you educate them about that solution, the more likely they are to engage in conversation back and forth. Uh, so this is something that's very important to keep in mind. Um, and what creates the best um, reply rate because right now text message is going to probably going to be the one that's going to be the most engaging uh, as compared to all the other methods people just like receiving text um, you know they might ignore an email or barely see it or you know maybe just shrug it off maybe they might ignore a voicemail but people don't ignore that text they've seen it uh, they know that it's there so make sure that you're very strategic with the scripts that you choose all right so that about sums it up and if you have any questions then go ahead and message me and i'll go ahead and answer those questions or, or leave a comment as well